Quasi here, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about why you should not compare yourself with other people. Before I begin this video, I want to quickly announce that I'm doing a free giveaway of my book, Life Mastery. If you want to enroll into a competition to win this book in the ebook format at the end of the week, just comment Life Mastery down below and we'll pick a winner at the end of the week. Also, I'm excited to announce that the free one-to-one -one consult is still open for the Reality Mastery program. So if you're interested in that, wait till the end of the video for the announcement. So with that, let's get started with this video. Now, I wanna to talk to you about why you should never, ever, ever make the mistake of comparing yourself to other people and why this is the root cause of suffering. Now, what I found in my personal life is that whenever I would compare myself with other people, I would feel this sense of urgency. So whenever I compare myself to other YouTubers and I'm like, oh no, you know, why aren't my subscribers growing as fast as them? Or et cetera, et cetera. And what I'm here to tell you is that everyone is going their own journey. Like our whole lives, we're taught to compare ourselves to a certain standard, but it's not really effective in getting towards your goals. Like really think about it. Our parents start comparing ourselves to this, that, and this, that, you know, oh, that kid, you know, he got an A in the class, why didn't you? You know, this was particularly prominent in my childhood. My dad would always compare me with other kids. And as a result of this, I became a very competitive person. While competition can be healthy, at the same time, most of the time, it's unhealthy. Because when you're comparing yourself to something else, you're basically focusing your attention on that and not what you want to be and what you want in your life. Stop and think about that for a second. When you start to focus on something else, someone else, and you try to become them, I'm not saying don't embody the good, brilliant qualities, but when what result they're getting and you start to beat yourself up about what result you're not getting, then you run into a huge problem because you create dependency. When you create dependency, you enter the realm of dependent relationships. The biggest destroyer of the law of attraction is what is known as excess potential. And excess potential, again, click up here if you don't know what excess potential is, it's basically a term from reality transurfing. And reality transurfing is a powerful way to manage reality and the events that occur in it and explains it by an author called Vadim Zeeland, who was a quantum physicist, and then he turned to an esoteric teacher of metaphysics. So he writes this book called Reality Transurfing. And in this book, he talks about a concept called excess potential. And this is something that has a negative connotation because you generate this. And whenever you generate excessive potential, nature wants to balance out this imbalance you're creating. Whenever you compare yourself to someone and what sort of results someone else is getting, you enter the realm of dependent relationships because now you're creating what is known as overvaluation. You overvaluate something that's external to you. When you put this person on a pedestal, there is a value difference between you and this person. So now nature wants to balance this out and create harmony again, because now it has an inhomogeneity in its field. So in order to balance it out, it takes you further and further away from the goal, from the person you're comparing to. So now there is no more competition left. It just makes you fail miserably. And again, it could pull you up to this person's level, but most of the time it takes you away because this is the easiest path nature can take. Nature always takes the easiest path to balance out any sort of excessive potentials in its field. So now, when you enter the realm of dependent relationships and you focus on someone else, at best you'll be a number two. Stop and think about that for a second. Like if you're focusing on becoming like someone else, at best you'll be a copy. You will never be that original person. You will never be like that person. And chances are there's probably a thousand other people trying to be like this person. So the even better thing you can do is have a picture of yourself up on your wall and look at yourself with admiration because you want to embrace your uniqueness and your individuality. And that is what frees you from all excessive potentials. Focus on becoming a little better than you were yesterday rather than becoming like someone else. You look at some other YouTuber and you see how many subscribers they're getting and you're like, oh, why am I not getting that? Why am I not there yet? Blah, blah, blah. Just know that it will come when the time is right. And also that everyone's walking their own path. Just because both of you started at the same time and you're getting different results doesn't mean you know, it won't happen. It's just everyone's walking their own path. And if you start to get into the mindset of not comparing yourself to someone else, then the illusion of competition breaks apart. Competition is the biggest illusion nowadays. And if you start to embrace your uniqueness, you'll start to realize that, oh, 
you know, the biggest thing I had was, oh, if I'm teaching the law of attraction, there's a thousand other people teaching the law of attraction. Why would clients come to me? And then I realized that I was focusing on other people and what they're doing rather than what I'm doing. Because chances are no one will teach the law of attraction like I'm teaching. If I embrace my uniqueness, I know that no one will share and connect this the way I'm doing. Because everyone's doing it their own unique ways. I'm not saying they're bad or they're good. Maybe it's just not aligned to who you are. If you resonate with some of what I'm teaching and the way I communicate, then you will benefit from what I teach and how I communicate. This is the breaking free from all the illusion of competition. Once you eliminate dependent relationships and you stop comparing yourself to other things and you just realize at that moment you are comparing that, oh look, I'm comparing myself. Then you break free from all excessive potentials and you start to walk your own path with ease. So this is very, very important. So make sure that whenever you find yourself comparing yourself to someone else, you stop immediately and you remind yourself, ah, this is what's happening. The mind just naturally does this because the mind is afraid. The mind wants to protect itself. So it starts to compare itself with other people. And it's like, oh no, they're getting that result. Maybe I should quit and do something safe, blah, blah, blah. Why am I not getting this? You know, my, the mind just loves to worry. That is just the state of the mind. It's like a little child. And also just to conclude this video, I wanna leave you with a thought. And I wanna ask you whether you think good people suffer or bad people suffer more. Stop and think about this for a second. Do you think that good people suffer more or bad people suffer more? And uh, I want you to leave me a comment below on what you think. Do you think good people in this world suffer more or bad people? And here's why, you know, if you said bad people suffer more, here's why good people actually suffer more. What happens is when you start to identify yourself as good, then you start seeing everything as bad. And you're like, oh, I'm good and everything is bad. Oh, look, that person is bad, that person is bad. And then you hold yourself up to the standard of being good. Now you create this value difference in reality and reality wants to balance this out. When bad people are going around doing things, they're not thinking about whether they're good or bad, so they don't create suffering for themselves. On a more visible level, what you're doing is you're creating this standard for yourself that you need to meet up, and you're like, oh, I need to be good. I'm good, so I do this, and I do that, and you become a slave to your obligation to become good. But when you start to completely stop seeing good and bad, and you just see people as people, some have maybe more knowledge, and therefore can act in a certain way, or some have a certain type of knowledge and can act a certain type of way, and some don't have this kind of knowledge within them, so they act another way. That would be the more healthier way of viewing good people and bad people. When you have morality, then you are... If you think about the concept of morality, it's really messed up. Morality basically says that, oh, I shouldn't kill my neighbor because it's illegal to do so, and I'll go to jail. Not that I shouldn't kill my neighbor because I love my neighbor. Do you see how messed up it is? So while this works at a lower level to bring people up, people don't really quite, it's, it's kind of like putting a band-aid on it and not healing it from the surface. When you say this is illegal to do, and people are like, okay, mustn't do this because it's illegal to do. Not because, not, they don't understand the real cause of why they shouldn't do something like that. And they should never have that thought in their heads in the first place. Because if you have overwhelming love for your neighbor, how can you even think about killing? If you think of your neighbor as a part of yourself, how can you even think about killing them? Does that make sense? So really, I just wanted to make this video to do a shift in your perspective and to see if you can view the world as an extension of yourself from now. And you'll see you'll no longer need morality if you start to view everything as a part of yourself. So the one realization that really helps me get to that point is every day when I'm in front of a crowd, if I just say to myself, I'm the mother of the world. And I just say that in my head. And biologically, you don't need to be a mother of the world. But spiritually, imagine everything is an extension of you. If you just walk around and you just imagine yourself to be a mother of the world, then you'll see that you have this connection and in inner connection to everything and now there is no need for morality anymore because you just generally become loving and everyone is an extension of you everyone is your child how do you interact with your child how do you how are you around your child so i just want to leave you with that parting thought and just conclude this video on why you really really 
must get out of the habit of comparing yourself with other people. I'm not saying that you shouldn't imitate qualities of good people, brilliant people, because those are qualities. You make those qualities your own. You give them your own touch by your own interpretation and your own usage of them. But not trying to get results like them, not trying to see, oh, they did that, so I must do this. Not copying their actions, not just copying and replicating the results. Maybe you could, you know, make the same $10,000 that your friend is making and then you start doing what they're doing. But at the same time, knowing that you don't need to do that, you can find your own way as well. See what feels right to you and coordinate your own way through your own dream. Walk your own path. It's like a car is driving by and you're driving next to it. If you keep focusing on the car, then you'll keep swerving towards the car and almost crash into it. Have you ever noticed that? When you're driving, you just focus on the car next to you and the next lane and you keep focusing and you see that your steering wheel just goes towards it. Because whatever you focus on, you drive yourself towards it and you create more of it. If you focus on other people, at best you'll be a number two. So with that, I wanna conclude this video. And just to recap, you shouldn't focus and compare yourself to other people because you're building excessive potential, first of all. Second of all, at best you'll be a number two. And third of all, always get into the realization that everyone is an extension of yourself and that you are a mother to the world. Before you go to bed for 20 seconds, just sit on the corner of the bed and just think about yourself as the mother to the world. Even imagine yourself to be a mother of your parents, a mother of your siblings, a mother of your brother, your sister. Spiritually embody this being a mother to the world and you'll see your life will change drastically really just try this out and let me know if you are going to try this out and let me know what you think and what results you get after trying this out you just feel this inner sense of peace all the time so with that i conclude this video and i sincerely hope this helped and i hope you'll try this out let me know in the comments what you think if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of any new video that i'm putting out and also leave me a comment below what you thought about this video i'm also growing a massive facebook group where I'll be sharing all of this kind of stuff. And also we have a great group of great members. So if you're interested, definitely click on the link below to join. And I hope I see you there. Also, I'm excited to announce that the Reality Mastery Program is still open for enrollment. And if you didn't know what the Reality Mastery Program was, it's basically catered to the most powerful paradigm of manifestation. And I found that in my personal life, whenever I started embodying the ideal version of myself that gets that reality, I actually attracted that reality effortlessly into my life as if on autopilot. When I shifted into the attractive version of myself, I got my dream partner. When I shifted into the 4.0 GPA version of myself, I started to get good grades and I was able to graduate magna cum laude from BU in engineering, which is, I think, amazing that the law of attraction works like this. And then once I shifted into the entrepreneur version of myself, I was able to quit my nine to five job. And now I'm not sharing all this with you to brag about what I can achieve, ha ha ha, but rather that it's possible for you as well because I've done this with my clients as well. So if you're interested in that, definitely click on the link in the description below. And I hope I see you at the free consult that I'm offering. It's around 45 minutes to an hour long and we will be discussing your current law of attraction practices and how you can implement identity shifting right now and whether or not the Reality Mastery program would be a good fit for you. So if you're interested, definitely click on the link in the description below and I hope I see you there. Till next time, peace.